a composer, concert pianist, recording artist, chamber musician, doctor of music, jazz musician, and senior lecturer at the South African College of Music in Cape Town. virtuoso style of his performances, with a particular understanding of the music of Liszt, Messiaen, Stravinsky, Bartok, and a great favorite, Grenados. His interests, however, range widely, from the harpsichord concerti of J.S. Bach to Gershwin, Errol Garner, and Chopin. his role as teacher of university students, Thomas Reiner has the opportunity to share his experiences as a performing artist and to pass on some of the lessons which he himself had to learn. Well, there is no shortcut to um, accomplishing even a moderate uh, competency piano playing. Therefore, my first task is to check on their technical equipment. More often than not, they don't come here well equipped and have um, serious gaps in their confidence and in their physical and mechanical maneuvering and manipulation of the keyboard. So that's the first task. Right from the beginning, I talked to them about music as a language, as a language that makes sense. I try to inculcate in them the feeling that they understand what they're playing. You know? So really what I teach is a, acquiring the language of composition acquiring the language of a continuous idea, acquiring the ability to see the architecture and the unfolding of the musical working of a composition. Um, I feel that you should get down to the downbeat with, with, a, with a rise, with a whoosh. Let's try it again. actually it contributes to my playing and my understanding of music. Because whenever I, I teach um, a piece of music, I start um, looking at it in this analytical and critical way. And when, I, when it comes to playing the same piece, all, all the good advice <laughs> that I lavished on my students can come back to me. Dancing. 
okay, yeah? So you get, get it very different to that out there. But let's try it again. And, and make kind of local um, flare up on each. It really is not one crescendo, but a mm -hmm. spurt of them, yes, which add up yeah. cumulatively to more and more. So let's try this section again. I think that's not clear. Um, that last upbeat should not be long, but the rest before, you could, you could exaggerate a bit. Mm -hmm. da -da 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 Through Thomas Reiner, his students can get first-hand knowledge of what it takes to become a professional musician and concert pianist, one with a flair for performing the most challenging works in the concert repertoire, like this Samuel Barber concerto, here in rehearsal with Viktor Jampolsky and the Cape Town Symphony Orchestra.
It began for him in 1928 in Budapest, a happy musical childhood with his family in what was then free Hungary. Already a prize winner at the Liszt Academy, his further studies took him to England, where he soon established himself as a professional pianist and met composers like Matthias Scheiber and Zoltan Kadai. There were numerous concerts, recordings, tours, and the happy occasion when he met his second wife, Anne. In 1970, their friends gathered for a farewell party. The Reiners were leaving for South Africa, where he was to take up the offer of a lectureship at the University of Cape Town. has written a number of compositions, ranging from works for solo piano to songs, full-scale orchestral works, two piano concerti, and an opera, Amarantha, which he is currently working on. His stature as a musician and composer has been recognized by the University of Cape Town, with a university fellowship in 1981, and in 1985, with the degree of Doctor of Music. As an award-winning pianist, he is perhaps the ideal performer of his own work, which, as Grove's Dictionary of Music describes it, exhibits a strong tonal feeling, a keen ear for colour effects and a strong lyrical quality. It's a tragic thing that uh, my father, who was a doctor in Budapest, was unfortunately um, found and killed by the Nazis towards the very end of the war, with only six weeks to go to the liberation of Budapest. And uh, of course the body was never found. He was just dragged away from our home and never seen again. There is, in fact, a, a memorial to him in the Hungarian cemetery. But I felt that something more was needed. And uh, my second piano concerto is dedicated to his memory. And in fact, the second movement, which I call Elegy, is a kind of reflection on the loss that, that not only I, but the entire community has suffered. Thomas Reiner has put down new roots in South Africa, settling with his family in their home in Claremont in the Cape. His wife, two sons and two daughters are at the centre of his life. They make themselves. One of the most important things in my life, even if I chose to ignore them, it would be impossible. But of course they are sustaining power, they are continuity. Um, so much of my time is uh, taken up with um, doing things for them and uh, watching them, solving their problems. and I um, can't imagine an existence otherwise. Like any other father, he is concerned about the future of his children and can teach them only by his own example. He believes that a parent achieves less through strict discipline than through gentle guidance, helping the children to acquire a sense of responsibility and preparing them for an independent existence. At 60 years of age, Reiner has a full, balanced life. He has a fulfilling and varied career and a sound philosophy underlying his everyday existence, using every opportunity to the full and realizing all his personal and artistic potential.
words, my um, experience in past has a lot to do with the way I look at things. Um, I regard myself as a, a survivor, somebody who survived against heavy odds. You know, I'm referring to the um, upheavals of the aftermath of the Second World War. And uh, the fact that continued existence has been granted to me against heavy odds has coloured my, um, my entire attitude. Let's put it this way, I could never be a candidate for suicide, for instance, because to throw away what you have been given um, is, is for a severely practical and frugal man like me would not, not be right. And um, the other thing is that um, I have a profound conviction that what we do and what we are is, is um, intertwined. And um, therefore, one doesn't work on one's character. One works on some skill. One works on vocation. One, one enlarges one's personality through doing things. And uh, my personal credo is that of self-fulfillment. It may sound selfish, but we all carry a um, potential in us. And so few of us are granted to fully realize it. And I'm sure that if a potential inner person is realized, he is a, or she is a more useful member of society, a more integrated person, a person easier to live with, and a person uh, altogether more on top of the business of being a human being.